Pro Plus Capo is the first Dario offering to feature FlexFit technology, a naturally responsive silicone formula that mimics the action of a human finger fretting a string. With the Dario Pro Plus Capo, every string rings clear, clean, and in tune. I'm so glad you want to talk about amps, because most people's eyes start to roll in the back of their head when I get talking about amps. Um, it's they're one of my like obsessions. I'm curious because I know that you're a huge fan or a, a devotee of the Ampeg V4. And obviously those are hard to come by currently uh, with Ampeg not putting them in production. So how do you achieve that on a live setup? Because I know that you use them in recording, or at least you had. You know. Because I see a wall of amps around you right now. And we, I'm curious how this is all going. Yeah, we, I broke up with the Ampeg V4. We broke up. We're no longer together. Wow. Yeah, we're no longer together. <laughs> um, Can you talk about it? Or is it a bad break? This is like painful memories, but honestly, the thing is, they're so finicky. They're so finicky, right? And they're not, they're, they're expensive to repair. And I had m several, and I've sold all of them except for the one. So we're not totally broken up, but... Um, uh, because they're great for pedals. They're the, a great pedal platform, and that's what I was using. But as I evolved, we just grew apart, really. That's what happened. We grew apart. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, it happens. And it, it, there's still love. It's just, you know, we're just not together anymore. All right, Marco, what about these new friends? How are they filling the void of the V4? So what I discovered when I, when I really started to hone in, and I got to say... Jeff, the drummer from Here Lies Man, was, you know, our conversations uh, in mixing stuff and, like, I, he would be my guinea pig as I'm trying out different things, you know. His feedback was, I think, really helpful, too, because when I really realized, like, what does the actual power section of the amp sound like, like, and really started to be able to discern what that is, then it was like, oh... And we did a tour in Europe, and it had a, I, we backlined an orange rocker verb, and I was like, I don't really need to do much to get that to sound like what I want, you know. Um, I like where the mid range is positioned, but we'll talk more about the mid range later because that's this for me is, it's that's the, the thing that's kind of like a slightly moving target, and it just depends on the room I'm in, right? So I kind of fell in love with the rocker verb. This is the Mark III. Um, the fact that it has a built-in attenuator was really great for Jeff because he was always telling me to turn down. So I could get that power section sound um, at a more reasonable, I'm not gonna say it was reasonable and I'm sure Jeff wouldn't say it was reasonable either, but it helps. Um, yeah, and then mm -hmm. me being me, it was like, you know, this sounds great, but it would just sound even better if there was like another amp to complement it. And then I started touring with two heads and two cabs, you know, uh, instead of a 412, two 412s, which becomes just ridiculous after a while when you're loading in and out of venues and trying to fit it all in a van. Uh, so I went down to the 212s, but then that led me down the speaker rabbit hole, and that's a whole different conversation. But um, I started testing amps for high watt freelance uh, because they endorse Antibalas. And I heard the super high which I think Mike Fortin had a hand in designing, and it's just, it rips, you know? And the mid-range is voiced a little differently, so I think it's closer to 1K. Um, and then, so when I put these together, the sound feels so much fuller, and I get kind of like these two mid-range peaks that actually feels really satisfying. It doesn't do clean the super high doesn't really do clean it definitely breathes fire and i'm just on channel one which is 
<laughs> the cleaner of, it's not the less dirty. Let's call it the less dirty of the two. Do you know what tubes tubes are in the high watt? Because I imagine the orange, they're probably EL thirty four. Oh, they're they're both. But what are in the high watt? EL thirty fours for sure. Yeah, I'm very particular to okay. that's what I want to hear is EL thirty fours. Now, also because of the mid range profile. That's yeah, that feels good.